and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Humidity Guide. And today I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins before the Harvest promo. And guys, the way I'm going to be working this video is that I've been telling you guys that I was going to get my coin stack up, and I did do it. So I know you guys like to see what I'm doing personally, so you guys can at least get an idea that I'm actually doing my stuff. So for me personally, that's my coin stack right now. With a few more things to sell, I should clo get close to about 2.6 to 3 million coins, which obviously isn't, I want to say practical for most people. Obviously, that's not required for this promo. Like I said, in my opinion, all you need for a promo is like 500,000 coins to a million coins. And to get into it, that's just to start the promo hot, right? If you just want to get into it and make your way up, like I said, you can start a promo with 300k and make your way up to a million coins. But... To enjoy the promo and enjoy the full extent of the promo you're going to want to get up to i think 500k and then closer to a million for the set now the set won't cost you a million coins but the initial upfront cost just to do the set will cost you that obviously when all said and done and all sold it probably won't cost you damn near that much for the, the nat players but that's the price of admission right money makes money which is sad but it's true the more money the more coins you have the more coins you can make which is why my coins are always increasing despite me not actually opening packs and stuff because i'm able to buy things sell things pick up a few things in bulk sell some things now guys the checklist i'm going to be going over for this video is going to consist of cards to invest in the coin stack i'm looking for what i plan to do with those coins and what i plan to pick up during this promo and what i want because if you guys don't efficiently attack this promo that's how you end up leaving i i, I need a cool word for this like it's like like for a lackluster promo where you go in you don't you don't feel too good you let you lost a bunch of coins you left a bunch of coins at the table you didn't make much you overspent on cards and you didn't go in with enough to begin with and then before you know it, you leave a promo with not too many coins and then for christmas promo you're gonna be out of coins and you're gonna be screwed but guys before we get into this video make sure down below hit that subscribe button boys turn that noti bell come join the family we're so close to 12k we're like 30 subs away boys so let's make that happen before you guys probably hopefully see this video and guys don't forget to run up that like button you guys have set a brand new standard for likes on this channel guys so i expect nothing less than two to three hundred likes by you guys can we get a thousand today i don't know if you guys can even handle that we tried a thousand last week got up to 900 can you guys break that i don't know if you guys want to try to break that you guys better start liking you should have started liking it two minutes ago everyone watching this right now like the video there's thousands of you guys so i know if you guys all liked it we'd have, we did a few thousand likes but all it takes for you guys to scroll down and hit that like button can we break it if we we broke 900 it took a week but we did it let's see if we can get a thousand guys let's get into this video so where are we going to start with the coin stack the 1.6 million coin stack I think is more than enough, like I said. I don't really need much more, but I do have some stuff to sell, some coins to get from just by buying or cleaning out a bit. Now, as far as power up, guys, a few guys that I think are getting cards, I put this in the investment video. I'm gonna, I like to bundle it all into one video for you guys. Those are my individual videos. I think the best points of each, I put them into one here. So, a few power ups, like I said. Some guys that haven't got a card yet would be guys like Odell Beckham Jr. Now, Odell hasn't gotten a card since Monster Superstar, so we know sure as hell Odell will be getting a card, which is why I like to sporadically here and there just pick up a few Odell cards, as you guys see right here. Now, guys, my homes. I have this fear that my homes will be an LTD. I don't take my word for it, but I'm not investing heavily in my homes' power-ups because I have this feeling that he will get an LTD card. It just seems like right, like they have been giving all the top cards LTD cards, and my homes fits right up that alleyway for an LTD. So that is why I'm not going full steam ahead for it. But I can anticipate that we will. I think Odell will be getting a card for this promo. Obviously, a lot of guys are online. But whoever you think that hasn't gotten a card yet that deserves a card, probably will be getting one between now and Christmas. So you guys start picking up those power-ups now. And don't think that if you pick them up now, they don't get a card for Harvest. You, you, you messed up. These cards will get cards. So you're not wasting your time by getting these cards because you're still going to get them for a cheap price because they don't have a card right now. And then when it drops, you now have the power-up. And remember, the way you want to sell power-ups, two ways. If they're set cards... That you, can, that you get, like, let's say the Peyton Manning set, like Lockett and Frederick and those guys. If it's one of those set cards, you don't have to sell them right when they drop. Because if they do a house rules for them and they're free, when people start getting their free cards, their power up skyrock because everyone wants to power up their NAT card. Because that's what people do. They power up NAT cards. Now, if they're not a set, they're just like a, uh, let's say they're the masterpiece or like just a card that's dropped in packs. Those you want to sell initially off the rip when they announce them on Twitter, which is why Twitter is so important to have. Or when they announce them on stream. So I should always watch the stream. Now, when they first sell... Let's say they announce Odell as a set piece for the Master. He'll probably go for like 35k, 40k when he first gets announced. And then when the time comes and they do maybe a house rules, his set piece might even go up to 60 for his uh, power up, I mean. So it all depends. I just want to give you guys the timing for that because a lot of you guys always say, oh, should I have sold him already? Like, yeah, you probably should. If you, if you hear about his name and he's coming out, 
sell them. You have to sell a type selling. It's not, if you wait a few days, people will settle, wait a little bit, people start getting more of them, and then before you know it, that's it, the hype's over. So always sell when the hype is hot. Now, like I said, I think Odell is one guy that could potentially get a card. I think Dak Prescott will get a card, guys. I think Cowboys players are shooing, so is your card. So I think Dak Prescott will get a card. Let's see what his power-up's going for. Now, like I said, they play on Thanksgiving, so he might get a Turkey Trotter, which is like the objective-based card. So Dak Prescott actually does not have a power-up. So that means that he won't get a power-up for now, but his gold card will increase in value, not initially, but if they announce Series 4 that they'll be giving Dak Prescott a new power-up, then his gold card will go up because that is a part of the power-up chain, and those typically go up to like 10, 20, 30K, depending on how good that Dak Prescott card is. So that is a shame that he does not have one, but I did kind of anticipate that he'd be getting a card. Now, guys like Kenny Galladay could potentially get a card. Now, I wouldn't say invest in these cards. I'm just letting you guys know what to look out for and what to prepare for. Now, as far as what you want to spend your coins in this promo, guys, my personal opinion for most promos is to get your two to three favorite players from that promo, maybe two max, and run away with them. You don't want to overdo it, right? So let me give you guys a good example. Come over to sets. Let's say for this promo here, most feared, you picked up, where's the master sets? I told you guys for this promo, the only cards you really want to leave with was Ray Lewis, Frederick, and Ward, right? Now let's say you're that guy, the, the hype beast, right? Oh, I gotta get everyone. You powered up Earl Thomas, Cam Newton, and Tyler Lockett. Then Andre Reed drops. Michael Irvin maybe drops for the, the Thanksgiving. Now Tyler Lockett's not even a top five receiver. He's knocked out of that already. So now it's like, oh, I wanna get rid of him. Now you gotta power him down, lose training, sell the card for less than you probably bought it for, and you end up losing value. Cam Newton. Oh, I need the new Cam Newton card. Yeah, you have fun with him for a week or two. And it's like, oh, another mobile quarterback drop. Cam Newton wasn't that great to begin with. Remember, every promo is not going to drop complete bangers all promo. There's going to be a few decent cards, a few great ones. And a few great ones here specifically were Ward and Frederick. I only powered up, literally, I left the promo with powered up Ward, powered up Frederick, and powered up Ray Lewis. That was it. I'm not going to overdo it because you know what overdoing it does? That sets you up for failure. What happens is I was the guy... In the last few years of Madden, that would we get into Halloween. I'm like, oh, I need him. I need him. I need him. I need him. I spell all my coins, all of my coins, literally every coin I had on the promo. My team was looking juiced up, nasty for a week. And then the promo ends. I'm like, ah, I have the best team in Madden. And then the Thanksgiving or the Thanksgiving promo starts, and I'm like, all right, well, well nothing could come out that great. But then you have to remember that every new promo just increases the the cap like the overall overall cap in the game so theoretically every promo is just going to make every player in the game better while decreasing the value of your team pretty much your value of your team just goes down day by day it's a bad investment to hold on to cards sometimes so i was the guy that had it and then harvest promo would start and then drop the new odell the new urban the new barry the new lawrence and i'm like i need all of them now so then i'd go okay let me go sell my halloween cards all my halloween cards went down by like 20 percent in value i lost like four or five hundred k in value which could have been a lot of coins all you gotta do is sell ahead but that's my, my point being to avoid having to even sell ahead and go through all that. Always make sure you're going to each promo, taking what you need, like what you think could last long term. I think Denzel Ward is a depth position with a 93, 94 speed, and he will be long term. I could use him even as a third cornerback for quite a while. No issues, even as a slot corner. Travis Frederick, the 93 overall power up center. I have no issue using him at center for quite a while because line, it's a lineman, right? Linemen are cool to power up because you might not touch him for a while. Now, Cam Newton's a quarterback. No, no, that's a no go. Unless it's a Vic, a Lamar, or like a Patrick Mahomes or Rodgers. I don't really see myself keeping them that long. So don't plan to power him up either. You power to block, it's a wide receiver, but he's a tiny wide receiver with pretty decent speed. And I wouldn't say amazing because then look, Tyreek Hill came out. The point of Lockett was to have a scary fast, which wasn't that fast to begin with. And then Tyreek Hill came out, that's it. The meta is not Tyreek Hill for speed. My point being is don't oversell your coins. Don't, don't, don't destroy your stack before it's too late. Biggest mistake I see every year. So for the harvest guys, don't worry. Don't go into day one and buy everything. I will have a video for you guys going out day one, going over probably the market. I'll talk about the cards and I'll let you guys know what cards I believe are worth actually picking up long term. Cause not a lot of guys are long term. Earl Thomas is not long term. He's bad hit power. He's tiny. He's not that fast. It's just, it's simple. Brian Dawkins is better off the rip initially anyways. So that's what I'd be doing with that. Now, like I said, invest in guys you haven't seen cards get, cards that haven't got power up yet. It's just time to start investing in them, especially if they're cheap. Cause like I said, guys that go Dell for 10, 12K, you know sure as hell if Odell gets a nice card, he will go up to 30K. He's one of the most popular players in the league. Despite his production on the field, he's a brand name. He's a household name at this point. Everyone knows about Odell Beckham Jr. Dak Prescott doesn't have a power-up, sadly, but I think he'll be getting a card. And those are just a few guys that have to name. Obviously, you guys know. You guys know the cards that haven't got cards yet. Your, your favorite theme teams, your favorite team players that haven't got stuff yet. So make sure you're picking them up. You don't have to pick up a ton, but remember, the more you pick up, the more you increase your profit margin. If you pick up, let's say, 10 Lamar Jacksons, right? Just to give you, or Odell, let's go with Odell. 
for 10k and they go up to 30k you made 20k just about after reduction uh, 70k after reduction times that by 10 you made 170k easy money easy money. power ups are easy money if you sell them properly don't also wait people wait 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 then before you know it, the cards go for less than they went when you bought them so just make sure you're staying on top of that i made that mistake once this year and that's because i was not home and i missed the hype and the app wasn't working for me but i think that kind of wraps up the bulk of what i want to talk about as far as hype selling preparing for the promo you guys do not want to go in full steam ahead also great advice don't spend your coins the first three days of the promo it's just not worth it the first two days three days tyler lock and all those guys are going for like 350 450 car uh okay right red lewis is going for like 500k by the set by the, by the end of the first week tyler lock and them were going for like 260 we had a house rule we got two of them for free we got one we got double house rules for them guys wait with the way madden plays now wait for your house rules first see what nat card you get first Get that done first because you don't want to lose, you don't want to risk losing reduction that you get Earl Thomas, right? And then you also bought Earl Thomas and you got to sell one. You lost value. I'm just wait. Patience is the key to Madden Ultimate Team. Patience saves coins, patience saves time, saves a lot of things. So I just recommend that's just my personal recommendations. Remember, like I said, you don't have to think too much about it. When the promo does drop, I will go over all the stuff you guys need to know for the players you want to have. The master, obviously, there'll probably be two master sets, such as like let's say Michael Irvin and Lawrence Taylor. I'll go over which master's worth it. And obviously, if it's a Michael Irvin and Lawrence Taylor, they're probably both worth it quite honestly and the set piece i mean harvest is usually a banger guys as long as they drop the typical harvest stuff i'll have no problem there's gonna be cornucopia packs gonna be sets so guys i pretty much wrapped up the video i have to get my my daily drink of water before you guys comment that my throat's dry i have not done that yet today but i'm gonna go get that done guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti boys come join the family and hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, i already hit 12k subscribers so congrats congrats to the channel guys congrats to the family thank you guys for always being a part of this every single day and if you haven't already run that like button up guys can we hit a thousand likes can we do it? You guys hit 950. You guys are 50 away. So start smashing it now if you haven't done it already. Go do that, boys. Let's see what we can get to. And thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you guys are doing with your coins right now. What's your coin stack? And if you need help with your coin stack, always hit me up on Twitter. That was a mouthful, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.